Data has profoundly changed the way in which companies do businesses today. Data-driven innovation has led to better decisions, enhanced customer engagement, and improved customer retention, all of which are essential to succeed in today's competitive market. And data engineers are known to play key role in managing data and accelerating a company's career growth, providing technical aspects and domain expertise. So, I welcome you to another session by K21 Academy, where we will talk about data engineers and particularly see how one can become a your data engineer. But before that, let me share the agenda for today's session. We will start from scratch and firstly look at what is data engineering. Then we will see who is a data engineer. Moving ahead, we will examine data engineers evolving roles and responsibilities with the various skills required to be one. Further, we will see how one can become Azure Data Engineer and why should you go ahead with Azure Data Engineer certification. Next, we are going to see what are the skills measured in the certification. And comes the interesting part and well, that is something everybody probably want to know. That is how much an Azure Data Engineer earns and the various career opportunities associated with this profession. I hope this agenda is clear to you. Now let's go ahead and start with the first topic that is what is data engineering. Data engineering is a type of software engineering that focuses deeply on data, namely data workflows, pipelines and ETL process. It can be thought of as a practice of designing and building system for collecting, storing and analyzing data at a large scale. Data engineering focuses on the application and harvesting of big data. So you know, data engineering is a broad field with applications in just about every industry. Organizations today have the ability and potential to collect massive amount of data and they need the right people to ensure that the data is in a highly usable state by the time it reaches data scientist and analyst. So let's see who are these right people or who is a data engineer. A data engineer is an IT worker whose primary job is to prepare data for analytical or operational uses. Most companies store their data in a variety of formats across databases, text files, images, audio, videos, and this is where data engineers comes in. They will pipelines to transform that data into formats that are readable. Azure data engineers are responsible for integrating, transforming and consolidating data for building analytic solution. In short, they aim to make data easily accessible and to optimize their organization's big data. Data engineers are the crucial members of the IT team because they make it possible for consumers of data such as analysts, data scientists, executives to reliably and quickly inspect all of data available. In addition to making the lives of data scientists easier, working as a data engineer can give you the opportunity to make a tangible difference in a world. Fields like machine learning and deep learning can't succeed without data engineers to process and channel that data. Now moving a little deeper into the matter, let's understand what does data engineering do? Or let me rephrase it, what are the roles and responsibility of data engineers are? First of all, data engineers are responsible for designing data architectures and various implementation tasks like provisioning of data storage, ingesting streaming, identifying performance bottlenecks and so on. Secondly, data engineers are expected to know how to build, set up, maintain and manage database systems. Also, they maintain data infrastructures to support business applications and as a part of their responsibility, they fuel artificial intelligence analytics and machine learning performance. It is also expected from them to be adept at finding warehousing solutions. But as important as familiarity with the technical tool, the concept of data pipelines design are even more important. Beyond knowing the tools, data engineers should familiarize themselves with the regression analysis too. 
They also ensure compliance with data governance and security policies. Lastly, data engineers work in a variety of setups to build and collect data into usable information for data scientists and business analysts to interpret. Their ultimate goal is to make data accessible so that organization can use it to evaluate and optimize their performance. Do you have what it takes to be a pioneer? Skills? Yes, the skills required for data engineering roles aren't necessarily new things, but they do require a certain level of understanding in a few particular areas for candidates to be successful. So let's see these areas. First of all, data engineers should have knowledge of relational and non-relational database systems like SQL, NoSQL, and so on. Data engineers must understand data warehouses and how they work. Also, engineers need a good understanding of ETL tools and APIs for creating and managing data integration jobs. These skills also help in providing data engineering with simplified access to prepare data sets. Business intelligence platforms and the ability to configure them are another important focus for data engineers. They can establish connections among data warehouses, data lakes, and other data sources with BI platform. Engineers must know how to work with interactive dashboards too. Aside from a strong foundation in software engineering, data engineers need to be literate in programming languages such as Python, R, Ruby, Java, and Scala, which is used for statistical modeling analysis. Data engineers must also understand Apache Hadoop and Apache Spark, which are becoming common components of data workflows. Although machine learning is more in the data scientist skill sets, data engineers must understand it too and prepare data for machine learning platforms. They should know how to deploy machine learning algorithms and gain insights from them. Now let's see how one can become an Azure data engineer. Microsoft offers a wide range of certifications across foundational, role-based, specialized skills to help professionals gain expertise in the Azure platform and build credibility in the job market. And the Azure data engineer certification is one of the most sought after. Obtaining your Azure certification requires you to pass DP203 exam. You pass the exam, you earn the badge. This exam certifies data engineers to design and implement the management, monitoring, security, and privacy of data using the full stack of data services. You know, now the focus is shifting away from on-premises solution to cloud environments and certification like this helps in meeting the business needs better. Thanks to the continued dominance of cloud computing, there's never been a better time to start a career in the world of Microsoft Azure. So that's why, let's see why one should actually go for Azure Data Engineering Certification. First of all, Microsoft Azure Data Engineering is currently one of tech's fastest growing sectors. We also know that Azure is Microsoft's cloud offerings, enabling enterprises to build business apps, serverless computing, data and analytics solution, and many more things. That's why 95% of Fortune 500 companies use Azure for variety of applications. So definitely, data engineers is going to enjoy high job satisfaction, creative challenges, and a chance to work with ever-evolving technologies. Another reason is Azure certification prepares you for career growth. I say this because at the rate at which technology is evolving, it is often difficult for employers and candidates themselves to know when they are ready for the next stage of their career. An active certification like this can serve as a proof that you are ready and no longer an entry-level or junior-level employer. Another reason is Azure Certificate expands job opportunities. Over half of global IT decision makers say they expect their organization to invest in Microsoft technology by the coming years. Azure is a vital part of the tech world. 
a Microsoft Data Engineer certification becomes extremely valuable when you are applying for a job role. Certifications in Azure demonstrate to the recruiter clearly and confidently that you are a perfect fit for the job and provide them more professional credibility. Another reason is increasing demand of data engineers. With the rise of big data and its increasingly central role in business priorities, the demand for data engineers is strongest. On the industries like IT sector, internet, insurance companies, financial services, hospitals, health cares, and many more. As more businesses flock to Microsoft Azure, demand for skilled professionals is only going to increase. Right now, there is nowhere near enough Azure talent around to fill the increasing number of roles on the market. So it is the best time to grab the opportunity. And the last reason is Azure certification brings better salaries. Certification demonstrate the skills and experience you have in any particular area. Therefore, it puts you in a confident negotiating position while discussing salaries with your potential employers. This has a positive impact while looking for new jobs and offers the opportunity to grow within your existing workplace. Okay, now let's see what are skills measured in Azure Data Engineer Certification. This certification measures skills in four portals. And the first one is design and implement data storage. The second domain is design and develop data processing. The third field is design and implement data security. Fourth and the last one is monitor and optimize data storage and data processing. Moving ahead, let's see what are the career opportunities for a data engineer. Data engineers are not restricted to one particular field. There are various positions held by data engineers like database administrators, data analysts, data architects, and data scientists. You know, much of the work done by data scientists proved to be very difficult without the support of data engineers. The volume, velocity, and the variety of data available to data scientists increases daily. And the data engineers are fundamental to ensuring their success by creating scalable, reliable, and efficient systems for processing and delivering data. With an ever-increasing demand for data engineering, we expect to see a steep increase in compensation for skilled data engineers. As an emerging profession, many organizations have already begun to identify and train employees to manage the shortage of data engineers. So, it is fairly true to say that as long as there is data to process, data engineers will be in demand. Now, let us move ahead and see how much an Azure data engineer earns on an average. Average salary for fresher in United States is $86,820 per annum. Whereas in India, average salary is 7,39,910 rupees per annum. If we look at the average salary for experienced candidates, then in United States, it is $1,18,502 per annum. Whereas in India, Experienced candidate gets around 15,25,827 rupees per annum. Data engineering is all about dealing with the scale and efficiency. Therefore, data engineers must frequently update their skills. Without a doubt, the demand for skilled data engineers is growing rapidly without having to look back. If you are a person who finds excitement in building and tweaking large scale data systems, then data engineering is the best career path for you and we can help you in this journey. So if you are interested in this domain and want to become Azure Data Engineer and want to learn right from basis to expert level, then we have comprehensive step-by-step -step training for you. That includes 15 modules, 48 lessons, 40 hands-on lab with exam and CV preparation and most important, one year on job support. So if you are interested in this program, I will highly recommend you to attend the free class which covers most of the topics like why and who should learn data platform on Azure Cloud, data types, 
data stores, data ingestion, Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Bricks, and many more. So if you're interested in this free class, you can visit k21academy.com slash azure te02. You can also find the link in the description below.